Hello everybody, my name is Tukasat. Today I'll be showing you another canon tutorial. Um, yes. So today I will be showing you the best canon ever. Of course, I only show the best content ever because I am awesome. So yes, today I'll be showing you the absolutely awesome bazooka canon. Canon. I did not know why some it said somebody joined the lobby. That's a high pixel message. Probably because I was on high pixel less than a minute ago, but yeah, let's get started. And uh, the first thing that you'll need will be, of course, any block like always. I'm gonna use stone this time. You need a water bucket. Then you need um a ladder. You also need a dispenser. And you need you need a lever. You need redstone. You need, you need a comparator. Is there anything else that we need? Oh, I think that's all. We need TNT, of course. So we need lots of that. So yes, the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to go here. You'll need to place a block right there. You'll need to place one right beside that right there. And you'll need to place one right there. Also one, two, two of those. And then on top of that one, those two, you need to place a block there. Then next, you'll place a block besides the two blocks up, and then four blocks out. I do not know why. Fine, I guess. So then you'll need to place eight dispensers like that on each side. I'll do that very slowly. Let's see how you can do it. And then you'll need to place a la two la four ladders down there in front of these dispensers that will make it so the TNT does not explode your cannon and it makes it so it shoots out next I think what I'm probably going to want to do is you need a gap right here so the TNT does not glitch out or anything I'm on a super flat world so bedrock is down there so, and the reason I mainly want this is so that I don't the TNT doesn't explode everything. I'm gonna go ahead and place water down here for test purposes. Then I'm going to need to place two two more stone right there on top of those, and then go out here and go around here. And then you want to delete this. Actually, actually no, you want these. And then what you need to do when you have that done. You'll need to place redstone on top of that dispenser, going down onto the ground, then on top of this dispenser, then going down, and then going on top of that dispenser. Then you'll need to have a lever right here. I'm making this as simple as I can, so it's easier for when you try building it. You can do this, but when you should have that, you want to build like a stair stairway down with redstone on top of it, which goes down here. Then you'll need to put that right there and right here. Then you'll need to turn right click that so it turns on. Then you'll need to have that right there, which will make that automatic. You can see it is. But then what you'll need to do is you can do it like this, but for safety, I'm going to do it across like this, which in my opinion is much, much safer. And you guys are wondering, why did you put those dispensers down there? It's because something in Minecraft makes it work and I don't know why that is. I think it's just because of a tiny glitch. So you actually don't need that. But if you do, if you want to do it the way that I showed you, you do need that. But I actually will do it like this. So, I'll, so I'm proving you. Yeah. If you didn't know, redstone reaches 15 blocks before you need a repeater. So that's what I'm making sure it will work. Because I've seen it work before. So yeah, you can delete it like this so you have it all ready to go. But the last step is to fill all the dispensers with TNT. I'll cut the video here and I'll fill the dispensers with TNT. So I filled the dispensers with TNT. And I'll show you how much you need. You'll... For these top dispensers, if you want to shoot for a decent amount of time, you'll need three stacks in each. So in these couple, I put th um, a whole dispenser full. But then in these, you want three stacks. 
And then in these right here in the front, and I mean in the back, those are the front ones. But you want one because that those you only need to click once when you fire. So then when you're finally finished filling your dispensers, you place water right there and you need it to flow down there. So don't worry if it doesn't flow all the way down there, it's not supposed to. So I guess we're ready to fire. I'll set the difficulty to peaceful for now. And when you're once you're ready to fire, the first thing you'll need to do is click this lever once and then hold this for probably about two seconds. So one, one, two. Boom. That is the best cannon that you can possibly build. I'll probably turn this down a bit so it doesn't lag for the video. But this cannon, you can hold it for an amount of time that is absolutely insane. So, this is probably the best cannon tutorial I've ever made. So I'll turn this down a little bit so I can get here. But this cannon, you won't believe how good this is. You can literally blow through a base if you wanted to use this in factions. You could probably blow through a non-water prodded base with this cannon in literally less than a minute. So then I'll make it maximum. Well, not maximum. But look at that. This cannon is absolutely insane. So, yeah. You might have seen this on TNT Wars, but... Um... I don't know if they invented it or not, so credit to whoever invented this, but I just had to show this off in a video because not many people know how to build this, and not many people know that this cannon exists. It does require a lot of TNT, though, so it'll be good if you're rich on factions. Let's fire it off a couple more times. Let's blow through this village. Rip all villagers, 2017. It's February 7th or 6th. Don't know the date so yeah there we go we already busted through the village i'm gonna you know no we didn't we haven't done enough yet cannon ready to fire some more yes sir okay let's do it again i uh, hopefully i won't blow up all the cats good here we go okay this should make it go up farther no 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 that made it shorter okay I want to do this, actually. There we go, there we go. Oh my goodness, I blew up all the way back here. But yeah, if you keep on doing that, you can, do, you can put timers on this, I'm pretty sure. But you can do so much damage with this cannon. Doesn't matter how far the base is away. This cannon is absolutely overpowered. And I hope you consider using this cannon on your single player world or anywhere else you would consider using it yourself. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this absolutely insane video. And I hope all you TNT lovers, all you exploding lovers, all you government lovers, all of you wall lovers, lovers, wall haters, all cat lovers, all cat people, love this cannon. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.